Uh. Yeah, be careful there. Yeah. Yeah. Ian, the first episode, smacked that and then got, he thought he got tetanus. Really? Yeah. And then I did get tetanus. You got tetanus? <laughs> 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 and then I did. I did get tetanus. And you, I toughed it out. What do you do when you get to uh, I didn't do anything. I just uh, I just waited for my jaw hurt for almost a month straight. And that's when I realized that I was like, something's wrong. Holy shit. And I was like, something is wrong. And I didn't put two and two together at all. I thought it was supposed to kill you, right? No, no. Rabies can kill you. Yeah. Tetanus can just, it just makes your life a living hell. <laughs> okay. And I think it can kill children. I think yeah. that's why yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. gets all bummed out when they're like, oh, my daughter died of tetanus. Knee. Yeah. I don't think anybody's died. They probably have. Yeah. Probably have in weird countries that we don't know about. Yeah, countries yeah. without American health Yeah, dude. Come on. You know, we're the fucking best. We've dude. got fucking really good health We care. are killing it, yeah. dude. Uh, wake up, Europe. You yeah. have no Nothing. Type of healthcare make you walk. Through yeah, dude, you figure dude. out you have to get healthy. It yeah. forces you. That's what American healthcare does. Yeah, it forces you to get healthy. I have to. Yeah, I and if you don't, you you're on your own. Yeah, America <laughs> <Yeah>. healthcare. It's <laughs> like that's the slogan. It's like yeah. you're on your own. Yeah, they're they're they're. Uh, it's not. Yeah. It's not Blue Cross Blue Shield. It's Blue fucking Middle Finger. Yeah. It's just dude. like yo, dude. Every don't. time every time I hear about somebody like going to the hospital, it just sounds like dude. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Don't go, dude. Don't, it, it, it's kind of one of those things where I've thought, there have been a couple times where I was like pretty hurt. Yeah. And I was like, can I, how long can I put off? Tetanus, dude. You going, put off tetanus for a minute. Going to the hospital. But dude, <laughs> I honestly, for about like two months straight, my jaw was killing me. Wow. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, what am I doing? And then I saw on my like table, there was like rusty barbed wire on the table. And I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, tetanus <laughs> kills 213,000 to 293,000 deaths worldwide every year. What? That's not real. That's more than COVID. That's way more oh, than anything. Most of it's neonatal. <laughs> Nobody needs those Nazi babies. Yeah, Fuck that, dude. <laughs> Don't hit me with your bullshit baby diseases. Dude, for okay. a long time, I honestly thought neonatal surgeons were just white supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that serious. Nazi babies. Dude. I honestly thought I was like neonatal. Like that yeah. is fucked up, dude. Yeah. Dude. Joseph Mengele? What? Dude, I'm so stupid. We're starting these kids early. I was like, this is messed up, dude. <laughs> Don't take your fucking don't go to a neonatal surgeon. Yeah. They are bad. I know they're bad. Dude, that's all wrong. I'm dude. trying to get my kid an iron cross tattoo. Yeah, right on the right on the gate. <laughs> <laughs> And, and if you have a bad, they, they get, it's like, well, they're assigning these babies numbers. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. The social security number. Dude, yeah. I knew these neonatal surgeons were Would you like them circumcised? To... Also, would you like them with a pair of double lightning bolts? Yeah, it's like, we're going to, we're going to just going to make this baby look tough yeah. from the jump. Let's tough this baby out, dude. Put these goddamn boots on and yeah. march out of this fucking maternity ward today. Yeah. You don't know yeah. want this little baby dying to tetanus, do you? I, you don't. And I, uh, yeah, I put off, uh, I put off going to the doctor for a while because yeah. I didn't want to deal with it. Yeah. And eventually it just kind of went away. And don't get me wrong. I had, I had a few headaches. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, wrong, I, I had a few headaches, a few night sweats. Don't get me wrong. I felt miserable. Yeah. I was, fucking... dude, it was one of those things where I didn't, I was doing that thing where I was just like, I don't know what's happening. Like chewing sucked. And I just went to work every day and just Holy dealt with shit, it. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. It wasn't until, like, uh, I saw the rusty barbed wire on the table. And then, like, I Googled. Was it, like, already done by the time you realized? I was there. It was definitely in the, you know, I was in the throes of deep oh. tetanus. I was deep tetanus, I was DT right there, dude. <laughs> I was tetanus, deep tetanus. And <laughs> I was like, what? Sounds like a Tron kind of movie. Dude, dude. deep tetanus. Deep that's tetanus. my fucking autobiography. <laughs> deep tetanus. <laughs> Christopher Nolan directs Oh, deep tetanus, man, dude. that would be sick. Yeah. That would be sick. I've often thought about uh, how sick, it, like, I'm pretty sure most people do think about uh, who would they want to play them in a movie yeah. and stuff like that and or like who I could play in a movie yeah. like who I could look like and like I would love for Nolan to direct a movie about like my life dealing with my dad I think that yeah. would be like the sickest movie in the world cover tetanus a little bit and just cover a little bit of just dumb disease and stuff <laughs> like that you I think honestly I've been looking at you 
and you look like a fucking uh, Eastern European Jason Kelsey. Yeah. Is what you got going on right now. Let me tell you, that's the exact look. It's I'm like the for. vibe that you, <laughs> you have pulled it off yeah. flawlessly. Uh, yeah. That's like what I'm you going could for. be like it's one of those things where if Jason Kelsey tried to fake his death, he probably just put you <laughs> in a car and push yeah. it off oh, a yeah. bill. Like just like, oh, what happens? Like there, we found his body. That's you got that going on. Dude, there was a time period where it was just like you you throw a fucking rock at an Eagles offensive lineman and I looked like him, dude. Yeah, dude. You like, I would say Amalo, dude. It did, you know. Amalo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I was looking like Samoans out here. Dude, oh my. Yeah, you do look like the whole line. Yeah, like, yeah. they yeah. all just mushed into just one person. Pretty wild. Lineman, dude, you know? Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> Your alignment experiment is <laughs> running wild. I'm it's like, what happened? Dude, you just show up to places where he's like, yo, I honestly. I think I might call a bar yeah. and just be like, yo, I just want to let you know uh, Julio and Gladia. Yeah. <laughs> he played for the line. He's, yeah. He's pretty He's pretty good. He's coming in. Number 62. He's going to be wearing a teal green tracksuit. He's like the other 62. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's the other guy. It's I like, am what happens when you don't teach a guy how to block, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. When you take a guy who should be a lineman. Yeah, you said, were you uh, were you a sports guy at all? No, I, ne- I, well, I did play sports, but I never played football. What did you play? Play baseball. You were a baseball guy? Yeah, Little League. Oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that doesn't count. It counts. My Little League team won the championship. Yeah, all right, all it's right. It's the biggest accomplishment right, I have in right, my we'll life. We'll bag it up. We'll bag it up. <laughs> we'll bag it up. I got the game winning like, catch. You play dude. baseball? I was like, yeah, dude. You know, just peewee. Just let Little League. Yeah, no big dude, deal. You know. a T-ball. Most yeah, of the T-ball. I switched. Uh, I played all nine positions. Yeah, I've been I a big T-ball guy for years. Yeah, dude. Oh, I still man. play sometimes. Uh yeah, and I played little league, and then uh, yeah, did I fucking got the got the game winning hit and game winning catch, dude. Game winning hit and game winning catch. Oh, yeah. How do you wait? Wait a minute. So it was like <laughs> I I got the hit that put us ahead. I got okay. like a, I got like a single or something. like okay, that. Okay, you got which got an RBI. RBI, I got which it. Which put us ahead, and then next inning, ninth, you know, bottom of the ninth. I make the catch. Part of me thought you were you were just living this whole fantasy in your brain. I might bet like you hit the ball and then you ran and you caught yeah. it. You just hit it. You're like, oh, I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. Yeah. Your mom's like, I, there he is. Yeah. I go to my dad. I'm like, Dad, didn't I get the game winning catch? He's like, you didn't see a minute of game time. It's like, uh, you got hit in the yeah. head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were hit by a wild pitch yeah. in the first inning. You didn't do anything but hand out Capri Suns. Okay? Dude, you know what? They need people like that, though. They do need people. You're, like not, you're not, you're a vital part of the team. Yeah. People who hand out the, you know, snacks, water, get you pet towels and shit. Oh, yeah. Equipment managers, unsung heroes of the goddamn I was teams. the ultimate fat kid because those snacks man boy oh boy man some people say i did it just for the snacks dude <laughs> you know what am i here for the dunkaroo yeah <laughs> fuck this championship i'm staring at a fucking snack pack in fucking inning one like dude <laughs> let's burn through this now game, were you the uh now you said you were a fat kid were you the only fat kid on your team or were there a couple other guys? Here? Yeah, I, so I was like fat, but I, at that age I was like fat for being like a like a kid, but I wasn't like I wasn't like next gen fat. You know what I mean? Next gen fat. You know how like I feel like in the early two thousands, like late nineties, they started rolling out some real fat. Oh yeah, there was tubsters. Yeah, big time. Like I was like the tubby <laughs> kid, but there was some kids that were like, oh, "Whoa!" You were you were you were a big kid, but you weren't crane weight. You weren't concerned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I they, wasn't like dude. They didn't me, see you <laughs> like rascal, small rascal scooter weight. You know, <laughs> you were chubby, but not concerning chubby. Yeah, not concerning chubby. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, he'll grow out. Of yeah, it. he'll grow out. He but got then, but then he didn't. But then he know? did. Yeah. So you were child. You were child normal fat. Yeah. And now you're adult fat. I had like a. I've had a couple chunks of time in my life not being fat when were those so i would say early adolescence i had a time where i was fucking not really fat like maybe 
No, you know what? I think I was still fat. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say. Now that I'm reflecting on it, I was like, dude, I weighed like 99 this is pounds. This sounding just like that baseball game. It's like I may have won. Dude, I was 110 pounds. Sure, I was in first grade. Yeah, I was fucking. <laughs> but I was coming out. I just saw the neonatal surgeon. The neonatal I was surgeon, fucking dude. big. Yeah. Holy shit! This is the end podcast with Ryan Shaner. I am joined by Kyle Regan. Thank you so much. Hell yeah! For being on the goddamn show. Where can the people find you? Any hand. Handles, anything you got coming up? Kyle Reagan Comedy, dude, uh, is my Instagram handle. Oh, damn. I only follow Michelle Obama, so do not expect a follow back from me. You only follow Michelle Obama? Yeah. Why? I mean, besides. Come on. Besides. The queen, dude? Yeah, the queen. Now, are you one of those Damn, guys? I, I'm completely with you. I love Michelle. You, now, be, you, now, you know that I do. Oh, I know I do. Dude, I still have the book in my bathroom. It confuses everybody. What's her book? Uh, Fucking, what is it? Becoming? Becoming Michelle Obama? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's my, that's, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's actually the title I, to my biography, too, dude. <laughs> no, it's just called I'm Coming to <laughs> yeah, Michelle Obama. I'm Coming to Michelle Obama. <laughs> yeah. And it's just her face <laughs> on the cover just splattered. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Now, are you, you're not one of those dudes who believe she's a dude. Are you? I could get talked into it. Now, I'm not going to say I'm full bore into it, but I could get talked would into you, it. Would you, what, what evidence would you need besides pictorial evidence of a, a straight up ween? Well, I'll tell you what, dude. You throw a fucking 30 second Instagram reel together with some yeah. half cooked ideas those are about pretty, it. Those are pretty sick. Yeah, I'm in, dude. Those goddamn theories are pretty great. Somebody told me one time, I, I saw some video where like, dude, never seen a, never seen a picture of her pregnant. I'm like, she's a guy. All right. That makes yeah. totally fine. <laughs> that's air, that's airtight. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking You know what? Air. I've never seen a picture of my mom pregnant either. Yeah. I can fucking, that's a, she, my mom's a dude. Your mom might be God a dude. God damn you it. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened here. Then I saw some like weird picture with like, her, like uh, Obama and some guy he was hanging out with and they were trying to be like, that that's, guy from college? Yeah. That's, <laughs> hey, you wouldn't think, but that's look. Michelle, pal. I think uh, one of my favorite pictures, and like I laughed at it for a good month, was a picture of Michelle Obama. And I don't know what like thing the Obama... This is back when Obama was still in office. But Michelle Obama's like standing next to him and someone like did really good Photoshop of like <laughs> a bulge like <laughs> in the dress. And it looked so funny that someone yeah. and just the guy who took the time to airbrush Airbr and like yeah. sculpt a fake penis. Yeah, shadowing. Yeah, dude, shit. it looked <laughs> like, legit. Yeah. But it was like one of those things where like you hear somebody like have a picture of it, you're like, whoa, and then yeah. they show the side by side, I'm like, oh, someone just really took a lot of time. I need a guy to start doing that for me, dude. What, to put a, put a ween on you? Yeah, fucking put one in there, dude. Damn, put a dude. fucking Michelle Obama piece in there, oh, dude. Oh, man. You know what would be great is if they uh, started making dildos that were just called the Obama. The Obama. And it was, <laughs> but it was Michelle Obama. They just started, the they just <laughs> started putting <laughs> Michelle's name on the dick. Yeah. Can they? Do, they can do that. I've recently started wearing a Michael. Yeah, it's, like, it's pretty good. Yeah, I just want to make everyone know that I'm a little bit more masculine yeah. and feminine, and I'm tired yeah. of all the side eye I, I yeah. get when I wear track suits. I'm just trying to fill these things out. Dude, that airbrushing shit, it's like, that's the kind of stuff you throw in an Instagram reel. I'm like, there it is. It is. Uh, <laughs> the it smoking is, gun. It is pretty convincing. Yeah. And, and that's the worst part is that now with AI, you don't know what's oh, what dude. anymore. It's it's kind of it's kind of wild just like watching people just m talk to a computer and they can make these amazing photos. But like I Do I you don't... think that the uh, Meek Mill P Diddy audio is AI. I didn't hear the audio. Just... There's audio. There's audio Sup of it? supposedly of them Open. fucking or something. No yeah. way. Yeah. No I think way. I think it might just be from ripped from like a gay porn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's there's like no way to tell. How could you? Yeah, and then it's just the sounds of no, dudes no, no. being like, oh. I got it. <laughs> I'll tell you right now if it's real. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know it's Meek Mill because he's singing Dreams and Nightmares while he's getting fucked, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. This is making me sick, dude. <laughs> Oh. You know the crazy thing is, I have heard, <clears throat> I have heard 
Last phone calls from people trapped in Tower <laughs> One, <laughs> and I, <laughs> and you're like, oh man, I, that was more unnerving than the last phone call. I swear to God, no, it's 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 made me a little sick to my stomach. Dude, it's pretty wild. <laughs> you know what it was? It's you, fucking you know, mortifying. You know what it was? Dude. You know what really got me was the, yeah, that was what got me. Saying See? fuck that shit n word is rough to hear yeah you know what it's funny because what but then again what resonates me is because i say that same thing when i fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> i say that same yeah. thing when i'm uh, getting yeah, down dude, yeah. i can relate with diddy i was yeah. like yo dude i fucking say those same i say things, that to dude. myself with a flashlight i just like i just go <laughs> off on yeah, it dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, is it racist to call your flashlight the N word? I don't yeah, think I don't it think is. So, dude. I don't yeah. think it is. If you're yeah. in the comfort of your own home, <laughs> you just go off on I it. I walk you're... in, I said, Oh, you in trouble, N word. Yeah. And I look right at my flashlight yeah. in the corner, dude. If you just called your, your fake pussy Meek, that yeah. would be, Oh, see, now yeah. we got the Michelle Obama dildo <laughs> the Michelle Obama. and the Meek Mills flashlight. <laughs> yeah, I don't, dude. this is. Billion dollars ideas. The Diddy light. Too, oh, dude, dude the yeah. Diddy light. Yeah. That is pretty good. You can make him kiss like Barbies. Dude. So, do you think? Do you think Diddy did it? <laughs> Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked Meek Mill. Dude, as a as a Diddy, 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 did it. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Dude, I do. Uh, do you think Diddy Diddy <laughs> Diddy Diddy? Do you think he did? Diddy Diddyled. Do you think he did it? Uh, when, so here's what I'm just saying with the with the thing you were saying about the the reels. Yeah. All these reels that are coming out now about him like avoiding like and disappearing yeah. and like houses getting raided and shit yeah. like that. That is it's pretty wild. It's it's one of those things where you better have a good explanation. Oh uh, no, Diddy's a uh, Diddy's He's probably done some naughty stuff. Oh, I'm not saying he has, he's a bad boy for life. Dude. Bad boy for life. <laughs> he's dude. literally a bad I mean, boy. Bad boys he's for said life, it dude. multiple times. <laughs> boy, was that it's foreshadowing? Right there. Dude. He said it. We just weren't exactly sure what yeah, kind of bad really boy he was. It, dude. Dude. We you didn't understand. I mean? But like the funny thing is when we were talking about I did last week I did a podcast with Jake Matera and uh, I started talking about the the whole, you know, conspiracy about Kate Middleton. And like why she hasn't been in the news and Wait, where what she's... was the conspiracy? So the whole thing was everyone was talking about how like photos had been edited and like I saw some shit they show her yeah. they saw her with like you know tape around her 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 chest and like she was wearing sweaters but they were like her tits weren't the same and like she came out of a hospital but then she went back into a hospital but she wasn't seeing anybody I was like dude what if she just got like she was trying to get rocking implants like yeah. I was just like trying to yeah. feed into all that. then it turns out she has cancer yeah she just made an announcement but I like, that how, she has I like cancer. how the internet's like ah uh-uh, ah something's wrong those tits aren't the same nah those every aren't guy, the same. Every guy's like, no. And then what you uh-uh. know what it was? It was the same guy who airbrushed a dick on Michelle, yeah. who did the things. I was like, this guy's a fucking genius. The tit detective. Dude. He's a fucking. He's going tit for tat on yeah, these fucking for people. Tat, dude. He did not uh, skimp on the airbrush and the shadowing. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I was, I was like, yo, wouldn't that be crazy if, like, you know, she just got implants and then three days later, it's like I have cancer. <laughs> God, <laughs> God, I feel Ooh. like a dick. Yeah, you gotta you gotta dial it back now. It's reverse implants. If Diddy, yeah, they're gonna take yeah. it. It's reverse implants. Yeah. That would be crazy. Just to call that. Yeah. It's like I'm having reverse. Yeah, what implants. we're gonna do is reverse those implants. Yeah, I'm gonna take them out. Them it's reverse. Yeah. It's reverse, dude. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, if Diddy comes out playing the cancer card, not nah, that might be the next. That might be the next. You're gonna have to do something. Everyone is very suspicious of you. Yeah. And everyone's been calling out, and it seems day by day. Cat Williams is Diddy right. He should come out and be like, yo, I'm actually Kate Middleton, dude. Oh, Kate Diddleton. <laughs> Kate P. <laughs> Diddleton. Kate P. Diddleton, dude. K. Diddy, dude. Yeah, K. Diddy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually, Mitty. I'm actually Mitty. Kate Middleton, so. That would be. Chill. D- you know what? And then the world would just come undone. Yeah. But you know what would suck is that nothing will change for me. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, you know, Diddy could molest a million people. Yeah. And nothing will change nothing. for me. Yeah. That's what sucks about these gigantic fucking conspiracies and things. Yeah. I wish a conspiracy would directly affect me in a way I'd be like, oh my God. My you should like get a conspiracy surrounding your own specific life. Oh dude. my God. That would be sick. I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. I'd, I would I would say honestly that I was uh You can't do that because you're automatically schizophrenic. What? You can't create a conspiracy that's so close to your life 
that you create it because now I'm just going to be like, oh, you know, no. the conspiracy is that Shane, I'm Shane, Shane, Shane <laughs> losing the his fucking is mind. I'm now. losing my I'm mind. Schizophrenic. Th- that is true about like conspiracies. If you just like isolate them down to one person, it's schizophrenic. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. But like, that's where I, ha- but that's how it would affect me though. Like yeah. I, I've never been, I've never been, uh, have you ever been rocked by a celebrity death? Like where you saw somebody died and you weren't just bummed. You were like, oh my God, like crushed. Like you not just make like a Facebook post, but like you, it's a long thing about how they like really influenced oh, you. Oh no, I've never, I've never once you. posted for a celebrity. No. But I, I mean, I would say the one that maybe like was the most shocking to me was the Kobe one. That was the most shocking? Well, just because it's like Kobe Bryant's such a gigantic celebrity and to die in a helicopter Yeah, I mean, that is that's like uh, that nuts. is pretty... But then again, as much as that is a tragedy, you know, Kobe Bryant died and his daughter also died in yeah. a crash. That's a fucking yeah. horrible thing. But when that shit happens, part of me is like, hell yeah. The <laughs> great equalizer. The great... Okay. Like in a way, right. it's like they didn't just die like doing something. Like, don't get me wrong, flying in a in, yeah. a, in a helicopter, flying in a helicopter is pretty top tier. Like, I'm rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you and I, we could pay $175 each to get in a ho- helicopter this week. Yeah. And take a helicopter tour. And, just, and yeah. the same fucking thing could possibly happen. And nobody gives a fuck. And no one would give a shit. Yeah. But the difference is we could die like Kobe. Yeah. We could be on the same team. We died. We went out the same way Kobe oh, Bryant 100%, went out. dude. My Very family cool would way. get over my death quicker than people who don't know Kobe. That's the craziest That's, thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's also like the most depressing thing is yeah. like, you will die, yeah, and people will re- will remember that Pee Wee Herman died on the like the yeah. exact <laughs> day when he died, and you're yeah. like, man, I miss that guy. People will be like, dude, I can't believe he went out like Kobe. Yeah, that uh, I that's what I would get on my tombstone. Yeah, went out like Kobe, <laughs> went out like Kobe dude. <laughs> yeah, I would have a helicopter on it with smoke. Yeah. And be like Kobe, yeah. it's like I'm there, dude. <laughs> Me wearing Kobe's jersey. Yeah, bury out of me, it. bury oh. me. <laughs> I would have someone Photoshop me falling, yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> falling yeah. out of a helicopter, <laughs> but then dunking like on a fucking just like really I'm, coming down I'm just hard. Just picturing on. a gigantic like one of those massive tombstones of me and Kobe hand in hand. Oh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> Danny stepping out. If of a I helicopter. ever die, no matter what happens. You get a mural of me walking with Kobe Bryant in heaven. <laughs> that would be, dude, just picking I'll make a, it up. a random celebrity. Just hand like, in hand into the gates it? of heaven, You know dude? what? I might just do that now. Yeah. I might just <laughs> like, hire someone in Philadelphia to paint a mural yeah. of me walking with Kobe Bryant yeah. into heaven <laughs> for no reason. For no reason. And dude. just put a different death like, is birth Shane or death dead? He's like, what is that? He's like, yeah, dude, I love Kobe. I just love Kobe. I wanted to confuse everybody. <laughs> Yeah, man. I don't give a shit. Or, this is you know, my perfect death scenario. It's uh, you know, Kobe Bryant in heaven, but he's running at a helicopter with his fist up, like you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> like I can't believe you. He's going after machines, yeah. dude. Yeah. And that's what did it. That's yeah. what did it. It was machines that killed. Just Kobe Photoshop Bryant. like Kobe like crossing somebody up, but it's a helicopter. Oh man, dude. that would be sick. Yeah, dude. I, would it be in bad taste to paint? A helicopter like Kobe Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you, would you think people would be mad at you if you painted? Like, if let's put it this way, what was Paul Walker driving? Besides a car. Yeah. Do you know what he was driving? Mm, specifically, what was the car? My guess is a Honda Porsche Accord. 911 or a BMW M3. I'm gonna right. look it up right now. Let's just say BMW M3. I like the specific guesses <laughs> though. <laughs> those were very, those were, yeah. I was almost like Buick LeSabre, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Uh, if I had to guess a Tacoma. Yeah, I was going to say Tacoma? an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, <laughs> <laughs> I think, LS. Yeah. Uh, Probably a Buick Skylark, maybe? Um, well, first off, that, have you ever been in a Skylark before? No. <laughs> dude. I Skylarked it? Skylarked it. Uh, that was what I got my second DUI in. You got a DUI in a Skylark? You should get. I a got medal my for first that, and dude. second one in a Skylark. You should get a medal for that, dude. dude. Skylark '92 Buick Skylark, yeah, V8, yeah. one of the fastest cars I've ever driven in my entire life. Holy shit! Uh, lost control 
on the yeah. second one and drove into a house with my buddy. Totaled the car. Skylarked through a house? Dude, Skylarked it. <laughs> <laughs> Larked it as hell, yeah. dude. Luke Skylarked, dude. A 2005 Porsche Carrera GT. Okay. okay. Yeah. I get a 2005 Porsche Ryan Cabrera GT. <laughs> <laughs> and I... <laughs> Did that do it for you, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you double over and laugh to like that. That was the dumbest joke I've ever made. That caught him, dude. That, that was just so got caught that him. That was so stupid. I love cars. <laughs> and I, lo <laughs> and I was, love Ryan Cabrera. That was so dumb. Dude. I was like, who's the famous guy, Ryan Cabrera? Yeah. But if you I got, love cars and I love Ryan Cabrera. Yeah, I love, dude. dude. You picked the two things. That's actually yeah. that's gonna be on your mural. Yeah. <laughs> it's just I had a car, a car, any car, <laughs> and you hanging out with Ryan Cabrera going into the fucking great Two beyond. things I love in life: cars and Ryan Cabrera. You know, there's one thing about Danny he loved was yeah, Ryan right. Cabrera. Yeah. <laughs> there's one thing I know about what? Dan, dude. Big what? Cabrera guy. He was a fucking Cabrera bear, dude. Yeah, he Cabrera loved bear, it. dude. <laughs> but uh, if you got that car. And you painted it like Paul Walker. Would that be... Like in, you're talking like Paul Walker decals on the side or like a Thomas the Tank Engine type Almost thing. like Thomas the Tank. Yeah. Like, you know, like if you had a, the Paul Walker mobile. The Paul Walker. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you couldn't drive it because it was cursed. Yeah. Paul Walker, you know? more like Paul Driver into a guardrail kind of thing. <laughs> you know, something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I bet there was one. There was one dad that made that joke after his son watched all those fucking movies. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Paul Walker, more like more not walking anymore, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. More like Paul Barry. <laughs> Paul Barry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say yeah. that. I know something you fun. That you know, just try to have a little fun, dude. But it did suck that Paul Walker died because you know there was a couple other people that I would have rather had died. You know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of people. <laughs> There's a couple of people I would have rather had died. I, never, I wouldn't have picked you know what I mean? When it comes down to celebrities yeah. that you see alive, yeah. you're like, how the fuck ah, are you still on, alive, dude? dude? Jeez. Can't Who's somebody it? you would have picked over Paul ja Walker? Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> you had that one locked and loaded. Dude, there are every year, every year <laughs> goes by. And like somebody dies in beef, so you're like, man. Yeah. And Ja Rule, and Ja Rule's still out here, dude. Still kicking, dude. You and Fifty Cent have the same, dude. I, dude, that would be sick if yeah. I teamed up with Fifty. You and Fifty take and we, Ja Rule 50, out. I teamed up with Fifty. We went after Diddy and killed yeah. Ja Rule. <laughs> yeah, dude. We fucking took everybody took down. Them all out. Dude. That would be. That's what you need. Yeah. That's what Damn, you do have all the same nemesis as Fifty Cent. Yeah, man. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, you're what? G Unit by proxy. I'm yeah. fucking. I'm definitely. Do you know? Oh man, speaking of G Unit, holy shit! I found this out the other day, oh, and I was losing news? my mind. <laughs> so I got some trivia. That I learned. Did you know that the largest turd in the world? <laughs> oh my God! Where's this going? Yeah, I know. This is where. This yeah. is where. Hold on. Let me. I gotta find it for a second. But the largest turd in the world uh, was found, and it is almost like three feet long. Oh it's like God. a prehistoric turd, <laughs> and uh, it's almost three feet long. That grew up to be. Rapper Fifty Cent. And <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know. Oh, here it is. So, uh, this is a fossilized human turd, the largest fossilized human turd ever found. It belonged to a sick Viking in the 9th century AD and has been valued at $39,000. Wow. The large, precious poop, quote unquote, officially known as the Lloyd's Bank Caporlite. <laughs> Lloyd Banks. L Lloyd Banks. Banks from fucking G Unit. Holy shit. Did he know that? That's where he got his name Dude, from. Dude, that's where I'm like, when I read that, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Did Lloyd Banks know that? Because <laughs> he probably picked something cool. He's like, yo, Lloyd yeah, Banks. Lloyd Banks. Yo, man. Lloyd Banks. Somebody's like, yo, where'd you get that name from? Well, uh, a fossilized Viking. Yo, turd. I'm as rich as a fossilized <laughs> Viking <laughs> shit. We're at 39 grand right off the if bat. If I could get enough money to buy that Viking. Yeah, oh, turd. sorry. It's uh, eight inches long and two inches wide. Whoa. Uh, the specimen was discovered in a in York, Northwest England, in 1972 by construction workers during the building of Lloyd's TBS branch. Uh, wow. 
TSB, sorry, TB, TSB branch. So they were digging around and they found a turd and, down there? And uh, in an area once ruled by Norse warriors, it makes it, uh, that's, it comes from the name, the name comes from the institution Lloyd's Bank. So, yeah. I guess Lloyd's Bank is like a very prestigious banking thing. Yeah, that's yeah. my assumption. But that seems small for the world's largest. It's turd. the largest fossilized turd. Fossilized, fossilized, turd. fossilized, yeah, there's fossilized probably been human some bigger ones. Yeah, people have been pushing out for there. years. Yeah, I've seen turds. You know what? Speaking of reels, do you think <laughs> you've ever <laughs> seen reels? Yeah. Do you think you've ever shit a bigger turd than oh, that? Oh, I've definitely shit a bigger turd. Eight Dude, inches. They're they're now eight inches long. I got. I have to be close, dude. Dude, I think I crapped. I crapped from the point of no return. Yeah. Fucking a couple of days ago when I was staying at Alex's apartment with her parents. I say with her parents. Yeah. My girlfriend's parents in an apartment yeah. for three days straight and didn't crap once. And oh. we were eating violently. Really? Because they always wanted to go out to eat. Yeah. Dude, it wasn't until I got home. I fucking destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed my toilet. And I felt open, dude. It was like one of those things where I'm like, thank God. And what is crazy is like, you know how like when you're out yeah. and you don't have to shit, but then once you start getting closer to your house, your stomach, like it's almost like yeah. a dog who knows yeah. that you're getting close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I felt all of like the fucking floodgates just start Holy opening shit. one by was one. Was it one long one or like a bunch of uh, So what it was, first off, I had, I had the coil. I yeah. had the fucking straight guy, but then I had these farts that were just like yeah. dragon's breath coming out, yeah, of yeah. just like one oh, after man, another, dude. dude. So I had at the end, it looked like soft serve, yeah. but then someone just dumped the blizzard on top of oh it. Oh my god! You know what I mean? It looked fucking wild as hell, and that was like a three flush situation. Holy shit! Three flush. You had to fucking. I went... had to flush, then I had to wait, and then plunge. Wow. Make my toilet throw up, then flush it again. I Holy. felt so bad. So for the fucking... strictly clogged from from shit, from not straight even up paper, shit. not even yeah. paper. Wow, not even paper. That's a fucking depression. That was and that was the craziest thing. I had to yeah. stand there with a poop butt. Was this was 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 it like was the ship like breaching out of the water? Yeah, dude. Like a copperhead. Oh snake, my god, dude. dude! It would look like a fucking. It was definitely a water moccasin, <laughs> dude. It was, <laughs> it was definitely yeah. very vicious looking. You're like, yeah, you could feed that thing a rat. I was like, that is not a good <laughs> thing. And it was like one of those things where like you flushed it. It went down, and then you the toilet does that thing. Was like, go, 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 like, whoa, go on, holy shit, dude. And then no you pun. just uh, then you you get worried because you think your toilet won't handle your dumps. Yeah, anymore. that's my biggest fear. That your toilet would just like you don't have the toilet would shit. literally crap out. Yeah, crap you know, out. I don't want that to happen. And now you see these advertisements for toilets that can ha- like f- flush eight billiard balls. Yeah, in one sitting, that is. Like just giving people the license to eat. Disgusting. Well, if you go into like a like a like a chain restaurant, those toilets got some flushing power, dude. They're crazy. That thing's like a fucking. They don't jet fuck around, and that's stuff. what I want, though. Yeah, that's what I want. Because that's what I want too, dude. Yeah. Something that gets fucking sucked out. But that's dude. that's where see that's where people are like, yeah, what would you do with a billion dollars? <laughs> yeah. I'd have a fucking Ultimate jet flushing power, jet dude. engine toilet. Yeah. That would just shoot my shit so far out. I'd like there. a toilet that I could flush billiard balls down if I need. I to. would all the time too. Yeah, that's the thing drop too. One in there, drop is one if in. it came with the advertisement that yeah. it could do it all. In one, I'd be like, you're testing it. Nuts. You bring a, a plumber out. It's like, uh, what's up with this? <laughs> <I have." laughs> so we have 15 billiard balls in. I know. Room. It just said it could do it. I'm yeah. sending it back. Uh, yeah. I mean, listen. Yeah, the toilet can flush it. The pipes can. It's yeah. like, <laughs> I thought. You know, ah, I why would they, why would they advertise it yeah. like that? Yeah. I think it would be funny if they just advertised it like a, you know, I think seven billiard balls is also, if you line them up side by side and length, yeah, that's about the length of a newborn baby. Seven billiard balls? You can, yeah. fl- <laughs> you can flush a newborn baby. Flush- down <laughs> Whoa. You know, like a pregnant, like a pregnancy when you like don't re- like the chicks who don't realize and they just crap one out in the toilet. Ah, oh, that might be bad. They might accidentally flush that thing. Dude. I didn't know I flushed them. That's, yeah. a, new, that's, yeah. a, new, that's a new show. Like, well, you like briefly glance down, you just see like a foot. Getting, Whoa, like, dude! I want, up that's got to be a statistic too of how many yeah. women have accidentally flushed their babies down the toilet and just thought it was a fucking big old duke. Yeah, like what? Well, I don't know. Talk. And about. you know what? That's the next mural. Yeah, is I'm gonna, have, <laughs> I'm gonna have a bunch of toilet a baby babies, just like fucking 
going down the yeah. toilet, but then at the end of the toilet is Kobe Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, with the Sistine Chapel, like oh like, yeah, fingers. but it's just like yeah. Kobe Bryant, like just touching that, a toilet baby. Just tons of the baby, tons <laughs> of babies. We got fucking phone calls. You ready for Let's some take fucking some messages, calls. dude? Ah, this is. Ooh, hopefully we got some bangers today. Oh, Gay Rye here, man. And I got a question Gay for Rye. you. It's kind of like um, a pretty serious and personal question. Like, if you had to do one job in your life, and I mean, this is like the last job of your life. Like, this is, your, this is an important job. You're like taking care of people. Would you rather like massage an old, uh, an older guy or even like an older, like hot, like, like, sexy chick for her age like in her like 60s <laughs> 80s like massage the hemorrhoids in her butt so she could help her turds fly out easier and fish fish poops out of her, her um, uh, anal glands or would you rather um be like in a doctor's office and then you constantly have to hold people's like wieners from because like they're just too fat they can't hold their penises and so like you have to take some, maybe sometimes you have to take it you just have to crouch down real low me you know i'm five to nine you know we're not that we're not that big of dude you know so we have to get under there you know tuck the balls under so he doesn't piss on his own nutsack but what would you rather do you know all right gay ride man love you so much dude take it easy with the new year you know what's funny it's like almost like it's almost like <laughs> the internet didn't want that message to be played. <laughs> so it's like, got, we got it. Cut. We got to cut, cut these some of this things. Out. I don't want to know about tucking old yeah. man dicks. I've had it up. Verizon we're, intervened with yeah, that. We're getting call. fucking bogged down with fucking. Like, no, dude. Here, dude. Uh, but what I rather, uh, if I had to do the, the last job of my life was. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what was the one part? Tucking? I've never heard of what I, a scenario. I think, uh, bloated, bloated penises full of pee. I have to drain them. Yeah, I guess draining dicks or uh, getting right. turds out of old ladies' butts. I'd rather get the turds out of old ladies' butts. Yeah, I kind of feel you on that. I'd rather get. The, I. You know what? I don't want it. Look, I've only seen a few wieners in real life. Yeah. Like uh, as an adult. Yeah. And I couldn't imagine I've seen a lot more as a kid. Yeah. Dude, it was Wiener Central. I kid. mean, dude, as a kid, I I'm just saying, I was beating them away, dude. They were everywhere, dude. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was scared. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Actually, put that on my mural too. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Wieners, me batting away, baby Shaner, old just Wieners, dick, dude. And then I get fucking rescued by Kobe Bryant yeah. right at the end. No, I just, uh, I've never seen, I've never seen like an adult Wiener. In, in real life, except for like the one time I went with Rainy and Chip Chantry to a to a gym, yeah, and in the locker room there was just dudes. Well, I don't understand what's going on with that. I don't get that. Dudes either. just walking around completely naked, ah. and not like by the shower, not by the locker. They're walking through like just how it is. I the don't. They're walking through the entire Planet Fitness. Yeah, dude, they're just in there. <laughs> they're on an elliptical machine <laughs> naked. <laughs> They're all that <laughs> butter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I don't I don't want to know what like an old man's wiener looks like. Yeah, dude. If I can get through life never seeing a geriatric dong. Yeah. I think I win a little bit. I saw my pops, dude. Pop pop. Yeah. Oh, you saw your pop ups wiener? Yeah. He when was, did you see that? Uh he was uh in uh and how? Well, you know, I unzipped his fly. Yeah, I was going to say, did you just get an eyeful? <laughs> it was at his wake. Yeah. He just opened the coffin. Yeah. I'm like, I got to see. Like, dude, I got to see what this old dingus is working Look, with. Look, man, I got to know what he's going to the Uh-oh. afterlife with. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put a half dollar on. on that wiener for the funeral. Fair. Pause. Uh, let's see what this guy's got. <laughs> are we Are we all tripping Look, I've never what? heard mom um, complain. <laughs> yeah. I got to see what this is going on. He's dead. Let's pop it out, dude. Hey, man, let's get an eye on his pecker. See. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much <laughs> It's like, is that, is that illegal? That's yeah. not illegal. Well, he was walking with his walker to, like, the uh, dining hall, and then I pantsed him, and then, and then you know, nothing. Is that, I was going to say, it's like, <laughs> sick. I like how you, a guy, you look at Part me, and you're me. Like, No, because I was like, dude, that's, like, such an epic way to not only <laughs> embarrass your grandfather, but yeah. embarrass yourself for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, dude. If, like, don't get me wrong, Pantsing someone, always funny. Pantsing yeah. a man in a walker <laughs> on the way to get food, 
You'd have to be a, the blackest hearted piece of shit to the, be like, the nurses oh, would be like, you, you got to leave. Man. They'd be like, get out of here. Yeah, what you are you to, doing? Yeah. You're like, no, I thought me and my grandpa it, always do yeah, that. It's funny. I mean, I thought it was, I thought you guys would laugh. Yeah, you I just don't see know. the, you just see the weather look in his face. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, and it would be like it would God, like usually like a young you pant somebody they're 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 getting their pants. Oh up yeah, quick. it takes forever. This might be like a five minute. And you know the crazy thing is, if you pant someone hard enough, like at an elderly, if you pant them, their pants are just tight. You can rip their wiener clear off their body. That's true. That's a fucking that thing's hanging on by a it's, thread, dude. It is like open stitching <laughs> yeah, down dude, there. Yeah. It's like a fucking a raggedy uh, and yeah, doll. dude. A, a hard Nobody, breeze will, breeze will blow a fucking right elderly off the body, dick right dude. off, dude. That's like, uh, honestly, I've seen dudes who have like really flabby skin. Like, so years ago, when I, in my hometown, we got hit with, do you remember Hurricane Floyd? Does anybody remember Hurricane Floyd? Uh, Hurricane Floyd came through my fucking hometown and it was, dude, the winds were like at maybe 80 miles an hour. It was fucking yeah. nuts. We didn't get hit by the actual cane. Yeah. We got wind everywhere. Yeah. But these old this old guy who lived down the street from me, his uh forearms were like blistered and bruised Holy just shit. from the wind. Cause he came home from like he still was like one of those mobile eighty year olds yeah, yeah, yeah. who did for himself. He didn't need any help. Yeah. Uh but he got out of his car and fell. Oh, and then God. had to like walk to his house, but he had like bruising all over his like oh, skin yeah. just from the wind destroying him. Yeah. Imagine like a ninety mile. I'm surprised he didn't get blown away. To be honest, dude, that would be fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, just like, could you imagine? Oh. And you get blown away, and then four hours later, just an old man falls out. <laughs> of the sky. Come an on. old man and like a stop sign. Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> you know? come Fuck, on, dude. It's raining, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's like ah, oh. oh, but old shit. men. Yeah, an old man. Nobody wants old men. Yeah, that's that's what they don't realize that song was yeah, about. Yeah, the dude. weather girls didn't say that it was geriatric. Yeah, it's men. it's raining men, but they're like between seventy and eighty. Yeah, you're not gonna like all the men. Not, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of a lot of old dick falling it's out of the sky. It's raining men. Dude. Turns out they're all Down syndrome. Yeah, <laughs> it's mm. like ah. Sorry. Yeah. You didn't specify. That's, you, you know, what specify. an evil genie would do. Yeah. He'd be like, oh, raining men. The monkey's paw situation. No problem. Yeah. I'll make it rain men. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love, I'd love to be, I'd love to actually have a situation where it's raining men. Hmm. Mm. Uh, mm, interesting. <laughs> raining men. Yeah. You didn't say they didn't have Down syndrome. Turns out they're all <laughs> afflicted with. <laughs> With the terrible disorder, <laughs> Down syndrome. Yeah. What? No. And you're gonna have to deal with it. And they're all horny. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're all horny as hell. It's just gonna be like you consoling people with Down syndrome. Yeah, they for the rest of, the of your sky, life. Dude. Yeah, because they're breaking their legs. Yeah, they're, they're breaking. They're, yeah. they're hitting houses. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Call nine one one. All right. We so here. anyway, you saw your grandpa's wiener. Call, yeah, it's how? Wiener. Yeah, I, he was in the uh, old folks' home, and you know, at the time had uh, the uh, all timers. Is that what you call it? All Alzheimer's. All, all timers. All, <laughs> he was timers? on all time. I used to thought it was called old timers, dude. Old old timers. <laughs> old timers, dude. I got old timers disease. <laughs> such a such a cheeky name for yeah. a violent yeah, brain horrible, disease. Horrible, horrible disease. Um, yeah. <laughs> A touch of the, they just call it old timers. He's got party time. What are you talking about? He's he's got AIDS. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's party disease. That little disease called old timers. My brain's rotting in my skull. Yeah, I forget who my family is constantly. <laughs> I'm an old timer. I'm an old timer. I'm a kooky old bird. It's dude. funny. I brush my teeth with my own feces. <laughs> yeah. I've got old timers. I, I keep going out to get in my car at three in the morning to go in the bank. I'm an old timer. I know? go into my <laughs> wife's bedroom and ask for dinner, and she's been dead for seventeen <laughs> years. And and then when she's not there, I complain about her not being around. I accidentally cause home invasions by walking into places I used to live. Sure, I'm an I'd, old timer. I'm, a, I'm an old timer. I went to a Dairy Queen and called another person who was old the N word. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know how it is. I walked old into a timer and I hop stark naked. You know, an old timer. Old timer's disease. disease. I yeah. caused a fifty-two car pileup. <laughs> a couple of old timers. Old timers. A couple of old boys. So you saw his geriatric wiener? Yeah, he's I, was, got I don't know how. Put him out or something, and oh, you know, you Dong, Dong was out, dude. You know, yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. Was he wearing like? Was he wearing pants or was he wearing one of the gowns? I think it might have been like, uh, 
Nah, he was pantsed out. Yeah, he was pants. pantsing? Yeah, he was sweat pantsing and out. Oh, you sweat pantsing. Yeah, yeah. Dude. And then they dropped and you were like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, hello. That sounds just terrible, there it is. dude. Yeah. That sounds like seeing like a, an animal get hit by a car. Yeah, full bird kernel, dude. Nobody needs that. Did yeah. you say did he say anything? Was he like, I nah, nah, he was just like, you know, he was at that age, you're just hanging tongue for free, dude. Yeah, I guess you don't care. Yeah. That's, you know, and that's, what a gift. That thing hasn't worked. I mean, that thing's just nah, doing dude. the bare minimum at it's that It's definitely point. retired. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, retired it's a retired dude. penis. Yeah, dude. You know what? At that point in time, I think if I was, if I was old and I knew I was going to get old timers, I would leave in like a claw, like a will. Yeah. Whenever my penis becomes completely inactive, yeah. that I want it bronzed. I want it like bronzed. I want yeah. a bronze cast of my wiener. I want it still on my body though. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bronze <laughs> dick, bronze. like yo. But then you keep the dick head open, like the yeah. hole open, so you can just pee out of yeah. it. Yeah. That would be sick. Yeah, just a bronze sleeve. The man with the golden penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And this then you have to nightmare. you have to bequeath it to somebody <laughs> at the end. Then this is perfect. Or actually, I would just have my penis bronze, yeah. and then I would uh, I would put it on my tombstone. Yeah, I'd just leave it out. That on is your tombstone. That is my just tombstone. Penis sticking just, out of <laughs> just out of the grave, dude. How can we find Pop Pop's grave? Oh, you'll know. Oh, you'll know. <laughs> It's uh, there. Actually, a lot of weird uh, drug addicts come here and sit on it. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a oh, lot yeah. of problems. Yeah, a yeah. lot of problems. Oh, Pop Pop's tombstone's a Sibian machine. Yeah, it's, it's, just, <laughs> it's got three settings. <laughs> People come here to take it for a spin, dude. <laughs> Ah oh, man, that would be great. That would be kind of that sick, would be actually. sick, dude. To have a fucking Sibian tune sound. <laughs> Sibian tunes. Yeah. Just Don't turn care. it on. Oh, yeah. It's just like you hear it, like you <laughs> walk into like a very serene graveyard. Just, <laughs> just a goth chick riding it, dude. It. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, that would be fucking sick. Constantly going to Pop Pop's tomb and dude, pop 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 it off. Yeah, dude. pop pop, dude. Uh, uh pop, we got a we got another uh we got another message. All right. It's going to be tough to top gay Ryan's, dude. Yeah, oh, Shane, what's good, man? So, how many times in a given week do you wake up screaming? And if so, what excuses do you offer your bed partner to try and make sure that they uh, don't run for the hills and want to come back for a second time? <laughs> Anywho, good for you, brother. Happy. Later. I feel like these calls are going to start getting darker and you know darker. Dude. It, it sounds like that guy has early onset old timers. He's old timers. Is what that is. Yeah. That is. Uh, you know what? I, I I've only I've only dated um, one one person, one chick. She had uh, she did have night terrors. Really. And that was very uh, weird because I'm a light sleeper. Yeah. So like anything that ha- I'd kind of wake up anyway, but I would hear her like, not like talking or scream and not like shriek loudly yeah. but she would be like oh no yeah like in her sleep where what? i would then wonder what the like i wake up and i then think yeah. that i'm crazy you're because, in the middle of a home invasion because me disturbing her while i wake up puts her back to sleep so she yeah. just like says it's such a fucking me that is crazy thing. i never no, I, I yeah i don't uh I think if you were screaming in your sleep, that would be funny. Actually, that would be a fun thing to yeah. do. Ah! When you first start dating somebody, yeah, just, <laughs> just tell them you have night terrors. Yeah, just tell them, yeah. And then just wake up like, oh my god! Oh, ah! You're like, mm. you just laugh to yourself. It's like, oh no, it's just, it's just rabbits! <laughs> the rabbits! I remember uh, I was at a sleepover when I was a kid, and my buddy told me that in the middle of my sleep, I he heard me go, "Give me the knowledge." I don't know what that was about, but <laughs> that's what he said I said. Look, here's what I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I don't I don't disbelieve that he yeah. didn't hear that, and I don't disbelieve that you didn't say that. And the reason, because that is so specific and weird, yeah. why would anybody wait? That's not like, yeah. you know, like my friends would be like, yo, dude, I swear to God, you said you were gay and you're sleeping. Yeah. It's like, I'm gay. It's you're like, like, dude, you love penis? Yeah, you have night gay terror. Night gay <laughs> gay <terror>. night terror. <laughs> gay night terrors. <laughs> it's just the P. Diddy <laughs> Meek Mill audio. <laughs> yeah, your leg is like I have gay night terrors. You might hear me in the night going, oh, oh, oh. yeah, 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 motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you might hear me in the middle of the night say, yeah, beat it up, n word. Dude, you know what would be great to do? To take that audio 
and just put it in front of a parrot for like fucking <laughs> <laughs> a pet, a pet for, smart at a pet parrot. smart for yeah. six yeah. days straight, just hoping to fuck that the parrot just like just a guy walking by adopts like, uh, a terror. Was like, um, what did that parrot just say? So here's the thing. We just heard this parrot. I think it's honestly playing, like, yeah. just mimicking the audio of P. Diddy fucking <laughs> Meek Mill. I know that sounds crazy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that would be a great... He's like, a cool bird, but, you know, he that does... That would be a great ad- adopt. Like, yeah. you couldn't adopt them. They have to have, like, a like you know, for dogs that are too violent. Yeah. And they won't put them down. They're like, we need a home that is very yeah. special and caring and yeah. has a lot of room and very... You know, you have to be around these animals that are a little bit, uh, you know, they need a lot of love, but yeah. they also need a lot of space. Mm-hmm. But you'd have this, like, yeah, we also need someone to adopt this poor bird who has been <laughs> abused. Yeah. How? Well, someone just played the audio of... <laughs> He did the <laughs> fucking Meek Mill yeah. for six days straight, and now it just mimics it. And boy, does he just mimic that all day. So He really does say the N-word very yeah. loud. Did you ever hear about, uh, is this funny, I brought this up before. Did you ever hear about uh, Lonely Leonard? No. Oh, my God. So this is like lost media that I have tried to find over and over and over again. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I used to watch PBS a shit ton. Yeah. And... Between Nova and like all this other crap, they would play these like 10, 15, 20 minute like fucking like borderline documentaries about animals or nature yeah. or something else like con- building homes. Like they had like bumpers for home time in this old house, like all this shit. Yeah. But they had this thing about like rescued animals, like endangered animals and people who own pets that are like way too exotic and they shouldn't have them. And they went over this thing about uh, what they called him Lonely Leonard, who was a <laughs> scarlet macaw. Okay. Who, uh, he was, uh, what the fuck? Oh, he was taken from a home of a man who died in, like, outside of, like, Alabama or something like that. Oof. And he was dropped off to this pet san- animal sanctuary by <clears throat> the man's nephew, who didn't know he had the macaw. Yeah. And uh, they dropped all this bird. He's like, uh, there's this bird... It just says crazy things all the time. Yeah. And it dropped him off this animal sanctuary. And the whole thing was that uh, he was a scarlet macaw. Now, one, they were illegal to have in America. Really? They don't know where this guy got it. But unfortunately, much like parrots, scarlet macaws can mimic people's voice if they hear something over and over and over. Yeah. And much like parrots, they can live to be 75 yeah. years old with proper care. Yeah. Now, the problem was with Leonard is that he would say racial slurs all the time. <laughs> and they had to keep Leonard away yeah. by himself. Because if you put a scarlet macaw with other birds, they'll start, they'll start mimicking, mimicking the what they hear from that macaw. Yeah. So they had to put fucking Leonard. All the other birds are like, dude, this McCall's coming in with some interesting ideas. But it was funny because they had a guy like, yeah, when we got Leonard, we didn't yeah. really know what to do with him. He was one of them birds, you know, he beautiful, beautiful yeah. animal. And then Leonard would be in the back like, get out of here, Ben. <laughs> Just like <laughs> say it to him, like, Leonard, <laughs> yeah, come Le- on. Leonard. Yeah, he doesn't mean that. He just, you know what, he's a bird. He, he just, he doesn't know what he's saying. But he is beautiful and, you know, due to laws, we cannot uh, release him into the wild. Yeah. Because if they release him into the wild, then also, like... then you just have a... <laughs> <laughs> you have. It's bird, bird listening for bird noises. You just hear an N word in the distance. You're like, ah, Scarlet McCall. <laughs> ah, the, the mating sound of a Scarlet it's McCall. It's a Scarlet McN word. <laughs> Scarlet McN word. <laughs> it's like they're very. And that uh, is the mating sound of a Scarlet McCall. They're very racist birds. <laughs> yeah. Turns out they're the most racist bird on the planet. Len- <laughs> Lonely Leonard. <laughs> Lonely Leonard. And I remember this like was a PBS. Yeah, I remember though. like telling somebody about it, like that didn't happen, dude. I have looked up and down. Like I remembered that. Yeah. Play his day. Yeah, because I remember just being like, "How funny is that?" Yeah, that there's just it's this... really funny to have that like pictured on like a PBS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the head comes yeah. up. It's like thanks after, to viewers after like Thomas you. the Tank Engine. We'll be talking about Lonely Leonard. <laughs> yeah, you hear a bird like, Rawr! "Yeah, I've had enough of the Jews," yeah. and then like butterfly in the sky. Also, it's how right like, next. dude. This guy was like living there. Like, how often is he just letting the N word oh, rip dude, at it, home? Dude, dude, he just must have been saying just, all the things. Just all, all day. I just knew fucking, all the slurs yeah. Leonard did. And it's pretty amazing. He's like, well, I'm not allowed to say it at Waffle House anymore. So yeah, I gotta I'm, get I'm it actually out here. banned from every place. <laughs> yeah. And when I come into my house, yeah. 
I'm allowed to say whatever I want. I, I got to get, I gotta get it out. I got. System. You know what? I got to purge. I got to purge. Oh, uh, you know what? System. They don't ever show that in the purge either. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a guy briefly just, walking outside. Oh <laughs> <laughs> a guy walking out his front yard for three minutes, just saying, <laughs> yeah. terrible just shit." In a clown mask. <laughs> Fucking yeah, <laughs> that's the thing in the purge. They never yeah. show anybody just jacking off outside. Yeah, true. It's all just murder. They should make a sequel to the purge of people just doing shit. That's like yeah, just kind the of... purge. Gross. Like yeah, yeah, there's people in parts of the country that are just like, yep, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the neighbor's dog. Uh, yeah. And there's nothing <laughs> they can do about it. <laughs> Don't leave that fucking dog it's outside. Like, you left dude. your dog outside, didn't you? Yeah. Just like fogging it through the window, <laughs> like. Yeah. Uh, and oh, then, Christ. Yeah. And then the day ends. Yeah. He doesn't kill the dog. Yeah. And then they have to go back to being regular neighbors. Yeah, like, they, hey, Jake, how you doing? Yeah. That was kind so, of a weird thing uh, you did last night during the purge, huh? So, purge night. Purge night. Do you yeah. want to talk about that? No. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, Jake, it just, uh, we <laughs> had. We had the purge uh, stays in the purge, right? Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to kill. What you you saying? I'm worse than the guy. You know, Fred across the street murdered his wife. Yeah, and some it was, guy got decapitated. Yeah, right? no, we're all for that. No, yeah. you know, uh, only you know people people die. We need the purge. Yeah, you know, that's the guys. Like, we need it. We yeah, need we to need get it. all the, the evil yeah. and repress things out. Yeah, and I think about fucking your dog. How dare you? 364 days a year, I'm not allowed to fuck a golden retriever. And then it just one happens. day, I one am. day, one day for for 12 <laughs> hours, I'm allowed to get out. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, they just. Show I get up. a black rhino in my system. <laughs> Go yeah, you take the <laughs> gas station <laughs> boner pills. Motor pill. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Stocking up for the purge? Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, it's one to hurt it, two to kill it. It's yeah. sex with a grudge. Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. gonna do it. I'm my actually my neighbors are gonna hold. My a neighbor's got a toy po- a toy poodle that I've had my eyes on. You know, <laughs> it's it's like yeah, they don't show that in the purge. It's always just murder. It's, it's always, always just murder, weird, man. weird murder. Never a guy just fucking going to town on a flashlight. Never, or... never. Yeah, there's never yeah. just a one guy naked. Yeah. There's never one or guy. Or somebody's just even fucking on, like a. Seriously. Yeah. It's just. And not that I'm saying that we need that in the purge. It yeah. just like makes the purge so much more believable. Yeah, just a little bit. Think, do you think there's not going to be. Everyone's like, oh my God, they're going to cut my hands off and then yeah. blow my head up. It's like. I don't know about that. Just like getting chased by like <clears throat> some guy with like a machete and then like yeah. kind of off to the side. There's just a dude like. Yeah, you see a guy in the uh, background just like. Okay. <laughs> it's like, who's that Stop. guy? <laughs> or it's just one guy who wants to go drunk driving on the purge. Yeah, just <laughs> looking black. Why doesn't that happen? Yeah. Yeah, That's it's just good. one guy fucking wrecked driving around <laughs> yeah. as fast as he can during yeah. the purge. DUI, dude. You know what? DUIs. It's like, yeah, this is the one night we can party mm. for free yeah. with our buddies. And like, nothing. No DUIs. Go burn him down and fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Just yeah. driving fucking 90 miles an hour into a Build a Bear. <laughs> 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 How did he die? He's like, what? Did you get stabbed? Did you get shot? No. Yeah. He was out there in the purge, wasted. Yeah. Driving around. Yeah. He dude. stole the car that killed Paul Walker. <laughs> yeah, killed, yeah, and then the... he fucking just, we walked himself, dude. Yeah, dude. Paul, Paul Could, Walker's. Couldn't walk that one off. Yeah, dude. Not at all. <laughs> that yeah. would be kind of sick, dude. Just a DUI less night, dude. Yeah, just a free DUI night? Free, yeah, free DUI. That would, you know what? I think that would be. That would work. Yeah. I, <laughs> in the <laughs> way, look, it would work if we organized it. Yeah. You know, we got one. Bumper cars. We dude. we let everyone know that it's going to happen. Yeah. Just like the purge. Yeah. And then we alert everyone, like, to get your cars in a garage. Yeah. Like, get them off the street. Yeah. And then, like, you know, people put the, like, the weird shielding on their houses so their houses won't be destroyed. Yeah. But if you're out on the street during DUI purge... That's on you. Who gives a fuck? And lot. nobody, and then in the next morning, we clean up all the dead bodies. <laughs> we clean up all the dead and yeah. paralyzed people. Yeah. And we let them know. It's like, look, if you get really severely hurt, yeah. we're not coming to you. There's people who drove into 7-Elevens at 3 in the dude, morning. Dude, just over and over again. <laughs> yeah, <they're> just, <laughs> dude, 7-Elevens. There's just a, a pile up at the KFC <laughs> Taco Bell every time. It's like, that. Yeah. people are just really hungry. Yeah. They're just not doing it. Yeah. Do you ever put those, uh, so as a person who's gotten a DUI, have you ever gotten a DUI? No, I dip DUIs, dude. How? I don't know. Just Do you ever never... drive drunk? 
I've drove. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Drove open container, a little doobie in the hand. Whoa. I mean, I've gotten caught with weed. You're in the dressed car. as a person who would totally say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Open container, little doobie a little in the doobie hand. Doobie I also saw my pup ups dick. <laughs> yeah, it's dude. like he yeah. looks the park. So you were. Yeah. If they pulled me over, it's like, dude. I just saw my pop ups penis. They'd be like, free to go. Dude. Yeah, get out. Luckily for you, it's free DUI. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for you. Yeah. Uh, so, wait, you, you have driven drunk. You just never gotten a. Yeah, I just never got a Dewey. Man. Yeah. Good for you. Pops has gotten a few. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. How many? Airing him out. <laughs> <laughs> Pops, <laughs> my whole family's catching strays Man. on this one, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I got he, two. He's had. Hmm. I don't know what his number. I mean, he's definitely over a hat trick, dude. You know, <laughs> the triple crown. I was dude. gonna say, does he just get out? I was like, you know me. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Every time. Now, did he get when he got DUIs? Did he get stopped or did he get or were they collisions? No, stopped. Yeah. See, those are like yeah, those are bummers. Dude. Those are bummers. Those are actually. Wor- I got two collisions. <laughs> I drove mean, I I yeah. into shit. Yeah. I wrecked yeah. my car. Well, if you're gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> In my head, it's like. Getting pulled over at a stop is, like, so much, like, yeah, it's great that you didn't hurt anybody. Yeah. It's great that, you know, they were able to, like, intercept you before something terrible could have happened. Yeah. But, like, there is nothing worse than just being asked to get out of a car. After an accident? Like, no, like, while you're, yeah, while you're sitting there and they're like, have you been drinking? You're like... Come on. Oh, no, I you know, dude. Come on. They yeah. didn't have to ask me if I was drinking when my car was diagonal it, in a porch. Yeah. They knew. <laughs> they it's knew like, right away. What time of night was that? Was Oh, that was like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's my, no my boy got a DUI in front of his house. They followed him down the street, put the lights on. Has he you hit know? his brakes? They let him parallel park. He parallel parks perfectly fine. Oh. And then got a DUI. That is that's horseshit. criminal. And you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I honestly, if I was that guy, I would have been like, they didn't pull me over before. I, they didn't stop me. I would have been like, they didn't stop me. They allowed me to keep driving. I really feel and like there is the like a legal. Well, here's the thing. He rolled the stop sign at the same intersection that the cop was at. Like. All right. Damn. Almost well, right there, he should have been stopped. They they put the lights on. Oh, my buddy drove. Okay, never mind. I oh, so, I, but so it, he just but, led a police chase. But it, but it, <laughs> it was half a block. Yeah. Okay. All right. All it right. was at the top of his block where he rolled the stop sign. Lights go on. Uh, yeah. He drives five houses in, parks his car, uh, gets the deal. The story just keeps getting worse. I, I was like, my I buddy was like, rolled through like, a stop sign. He's a fucking patriot. Yeah. He actually just yeah. The short. No, he he street. got it up to about eighty and dipped through some <laughs> yeah, side like, alleyways. Yeah, he actually hit somebody. <laughs> and then you believe they pulled sidewalk. him over in front of his house. But that was day. his argument. He was like, "Well, I, I know I blew over the legal limit, but I parallel park perfectly fine." So. Yeah. Ain't I allowed? Tough ain't argument, I allowed dude. Some? <laughs> Tough ain't argument. Ain't I allowed some? It's like, yeah, sure. You know, I maybe shot and killed that guy. Yeah. But I blew over the legal limit. I still I got like, the gun. Good. Yeah, I blew over the legal limit, but I just did a perfectly fucking balanced cartwheel. Yeah, that would be sick. I mean, come on. You know. And I've never. And I think his lawyer argued that in court. What, about how, how capable he was? Yeah. So I've also heard uh, a few times that people who have been pulled over or stopped at a DUI checkpoint or something like that when they when they fail a breathalyzer and they still pass the field sobriety test. Yeah. Their argument is that they're a high functioning alcoholic. <laughs> they're like And they're like, sure, I am technically over the legal limit. Yeah. But if you ask me to do any task, like I, I wasn't pulled over. Yeah. I went through a checkpoint. I was roped. Yeah. I didn't cause a problem. I didn't try to back out of it. I didn't try to skirt the law. Yeah. You guys asked me if I'd been drinking. I admitted that I was. Didn't yeah. put up a fight. You then breathalyzed me. Then, or no, then you you did the field sobriety test, which I passed, and then you breathalyzed yeah. me, which I failed. However, if you had not breathalyzed me, you would have allowed me to be on my way. Yeah. It's kind of like... The legal argument of uh, I'm built for this. Yeah. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> ah, this has been the End Podcast with Ryan Shannon and Kyle. Thank you so much for being Hell on the yeah. fucking show, dude. Make sure you call the hotline 833-443-5300. We'll address any comment, question, concern, or possible old dick you may think I might want to look at. Yeah, yeah. Or the guests. 
Awesome. We're going to switch it over to uh, the Patreon. Thank you so much.